What is up, guys? Tinder back from the GT's Outdoors channel. How are you guys today? Beautiful, sunny day here, about 62 degrees. Couldn't ask for better weather. We've had a ton of rain lately, unfortunately. Um, I know I haven't been uh, uploading a lot of videos here in the last week or two. I uh, just got over strep throat a couple days ago. Was not feeling the best. Uh, had a cough along with it. So it was kind of weaker up in my shoulders. Wasn't shooting a lot. Was just kind of relaxing and getting over that. Um, so as you guys can tell by the video title, this is my new to me Damon Howlett Hunter. So I'll give you guys a close up on the specs here. It is 60 pounds at 28 inches and is a 62 inch AMO. Um, give you guys kind of a close up here trying to trying to do this by yourself is kind of hard beautiful beautiful wood uh it does have these two blemishes here looks like somebody tried to install a quiver and uh, they drilled all the way through on this one for a plunger which they put a doll rod through and then they actually did a really tasteful job of covering those holes they actually look pretty nice so i did get kind of a deal on this i paid right at 200 dollars for this hunter uh, i do have a bear hair rest with just a bear strike plate uh, my double knocking points on probably just a B55 string. Oh, excuse me there. Nothing crazy. So really, really nice bow. Uh, black glass. It does show some crazing on it, which uh, I don't know how you guys can see that here. But you can see some of the crazing in the limbs, which that's okay. Uh, vertical is okay. Horizontal is a no-go, especially on these older bows. It does have laminated limb tips. Uh, it's just a wood lamination. Really goes well with the bow really nice so like i said guys haven't been shooting a whole lot so i don't know how well i'm going to shoot this bow but uh i am going to shoot my black eagle 350s off of it uh 100 grain insert 200 grain field point on these ones um you know my standard arrow for my 65 pound uh cheyenne primitive so i'm gonna go ahead and get set up shoot at 12 yards and i'll see you guys here in just a second all righty guys this is going to be the first of three groups I'm going to shoot on this video. Um, don't know how well this is going to turn out as far as my groups because I haven't been shooting a lot, but uh, we'll see what I can do. This bow does not have any string silencers on it, so it is going to sound a little louder than normal, but uh, those are on the way for it. I am out currently. As you guys can tell, that group is just a little high, and that one arrow is to the right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the arrows and set up for uh, group number two. All right, guys. For this next group, I figured I'd give you a uh, video of me shooting here. Don't know uh, how well you guys can actually see me. It's kind of hard without a cameraman sometimes to judge my height to camera and all that good stuff. But we're at about 12 yards, so I'm just going to... Go ahead and uh, shoot a group down there and let you guys kind of listen to this bow too. You can hear it vibrate, um, tips are tight and everything just on this string without any silencers. So definitely, uh, definitely happy when those get here, that's for sure. All right, guys, let's go take a look at that group. And we're back. All right, so not my best group, but we're probably only having about 30 arrows total through this bow. I'm not too ashamed of that, not too bad. Uh, for this final group, I'm gonna go ahead and step back to 15, which is normal hunting range for a recurve. I go out to about 25 at my very most. So uh, I'm gonna shoot at 15 and see what we can do. See you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, all set up for our final group here. Like I said, gonna step back to 15 and see uh, how well I can shoot this bow. Especially, uh, haven't shot in about a week. 
And like I said, I've probably only got 30 arrows through it total. So and that's including getting it all tuned up and everything. So let's see here. Alrighty guys, let's go take a better look at that group. Alright, so definitely not my best group. Uh, probably my worst one of this video. Dropped that one low. Um, was holding uh, a little low on it, no big deal. These two are pretty good uh, horizontally, but or, uh, yeah, horizontally, but uh, or, uh, yeah, horizontally, but uh, could be, or vertically they're good, so to speak. But uh, could have could have pulled that one in a little closer, but not too bad. Um, all right, guys, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to give you guys my final opinion on the Damon Howard Hunter. All righty. So my final opinion on this Damon Howard Hunter, uh, just with these three practice arrows uh, that are pretty beat up, it still groups pretty well. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with this bow yet. I've only had it for about a week, and I've, this is about maybe 40 arrows by the time this video um by the time I'm doing this video, so, and that's including just setting it up, tuning it, getting my knocking point right, and all that good stuff, but uh, I would definitely recommend this bow. You guys will see a lot more of it on the channel as uh, as I get uh, a little bit more comfortable with it. I feel like this is probably going to be my main hunting bow from now on. I just really like the grip. I really like the palm swell. don't know if I gave you guys a uh, good look at that earlier. But it's got uh, one heck of a palm swell there, and it is very, very comfortable. Fits the hand very well. So I really like it. I think it's uh, definitely a great bow. I know Damon Howitt uh, just started up again for 2023. Uh, the ATA show is going on right now. For those of you guys who uh, are into uh, archery, you already know about the ATA show. But for some of the newer people, uh, archery trade show, it's all the new stuff coming out for the year. So Damon Howitt split from Martin, and they are back to making traditional bows. I'm super excited to get my hands on uh, some of their new stuff. They've got the Hunter again. I believe they've got the Black Mamba, the Mamba, uh, the X200, the Stick, which is a long bow, uh, and I want to say Savannah, and maybe the Savannah Stalker. I'm not 100% sure yet um, on the long bows. I'm not a huge long bow guy. So... But I know uh, I'm excited to get my hands on one of their recurves. I'm really interested in uh, the Black Mamba or the Mamba. I think they're uh, really nice looking. So I think all their bows look really nice. But since I've already got this Hunter, I'm thinking maybe get something a little different. But uh, yeah, so super excited for Damon Howard to be making a comeback. I really like Big Martin fan. I like Damon Howard as well. So uh, super excited for them to come back and bring back such great quality. Um, I would honestly give this bow um, very, very, very high marks. It is very well made. It's beautiful. It shoots smooth. It's quiet even without uh, string silencers. So if you guys are looking for a good bow that's going to last a lifetime, I'd probably look in, into one of these hunters. They're very, very uh, affordable used. They're not super expensive. You can get them for two to $300 on eBay in great shape for a vintage one. The newer ones are going to be a little pricier, but... You know, to each their own. I like the vintage stuff. I'm into that kind of thing. So, thank you guys for watching uh, the GT's Outdoors channel. Uh, means a lot to me. We're gaining subscribers every day, guys. We already made our 100 subscriber goal from 2022. So, super excited uh, that we did that. We're at 107 subscribers at the time of this video. So, that is awesome. Gained seven subscribers in like 15 days. That is that is unbelievable, guys. So, thank you guys very much. Um, like I said, I would recommend. Pretty much any Damon Howe product that I've played with and shot. So I'm going to have to, you know, shoot this a little bit more and see uh, how much I like it. You'll see it in other videos. Anyways, guys, I'm rambling. I'm Tanner. This is GT's Outdoors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.